Hey guys, welcome to another Impreza ice racing Impreza video. Right? Yes. We've been working hard today and it's time, it's been a while, but it's time to finally paint the car. And we do actually have some painting experience. I painted a car 12 years ago about 12 years ago it was a Subaru actually look here painted the car which ironically enough was also a Subaru right 13 13 years ago yeah, was, yeah, yeah. yeah the difference is I used rattle cans and he used an actual can. spray gun you know? yeah. anyways we thought we would uh, combine our 25 years of experience and apply it today for our, our special project but we had to do stuff. We've been actually working for 12 hours? Okay, no. we started at 11.30 and it's 8.30 8 .30 p.m. right now. All day. We just work slow. So So we made a paint booth. Can you guys see us? We're right here. Blend it in. Let's take a look inside. Uh, this, <laughs> this is cool or what? Alright, so as you can see we attached some planks of wood so we could attach this foil, plastic foil. Got some weights down. Come on here, this is pretty, this is pretty cool. So we got a fan blowing air in, and it's not just any air, it's warm air. We got a heater behind the fan. Because we're trying to raise the temperature of the car. We're at 50 degrees and we need to be at 55, 60? 60. 60. Supposed 60, to be 60. Yeah. So just only 10 degrees off. Yeah. So keep going. Uh, you can see. This took 12 hours, guys. 12 hours. Not 12, it's 10. 10 hours, sorry. Anyways, we're going to be painting the bumper. We're going to be painting this this uh, panel right here because we found some rust. We're going to be painting this inside here. You like this taping up job? We're going to paint this here because of some rust over here. Now this fender. Remember, we did some removed some dents up top. We got some bando up top. Obviously, it's going to be lower. Right there, and here we got the bumper, which I once again look broke. So we're going to paint this first. We're going to move it aside, lower the car, keep painting and stuff. Look, we even got a filter. <laughs> so this fan is actually sucking air in, out, obviously. So you can see the oil is actually blowing out so which means that's what you want you want positive pressure positive yeah i guess positive pressure so you don't get any so the air kind of through all the different holes and and cracks comes out out of your paint booth if it was the other way around then all the dust would come in so you want it out so we actually achieved that with these fans that fan is uh I don't know, it's weird, it took us a little bit to adjust, but it seems yeah. to be fine now. We actually have this one sucking in at top speed, which is 3, and that one blowing in at 1, which should give you the, uh, the opposite effect, but I don't know. It is what it is. Anyways, we got this door over here. So that heater was blown too much air at the plastic and it was all kind of you know going crazy so we installed a piece of plywood with the bucket you know paint booth teething issues uh, so we actually look actually went out and bought an actual paint this is what we're using Sam flexible primer surfacer thing this is serious guys we're you know we're, we're trying to do this right mm -hmm. we uh, clean the surfaces with this stuff strong stuff 
We got actual paint. That's it's uh, over there. Oh yeah. Here's the paint. This is the paint. Ah, uh, that's cool. You're in the last reducer. So we even got a reducer. No, that's that's, that's for the paint. paint. Yeah. Okay, so that's the paint. That's a reducer, and the, no, that's for clear. That's that's the clear coat. That's it's hardener. Hardener, whatever. Ultimate overall clear coat. This is what we're using in case anyone is wondering. What's this? And this is the the paint. That's the base. The actual paint. Yeah. The base. Okay. Sunfire Pro standard base coat, same color by the way, because remember it needs to pass inspection. And uh, I went to Pobo Freight and bought the second cheapest gun they had. Yeah, maybe you want to mention that that thing needs to be cleaned out and it was a... Oh yeah, we had actually had made a, make a special tool to remove the, the nozzle and the inside. Because it was glued. Because it wasn't, it wasn't provided. And then what is this? Central pneumatic, a whatever. Yeah, maybe j someone just took it from the box. See this? So, took a 11 16 and made it, you know, you know what I'm talking about. Okay, anyways, that worked out. Oh. Obviously, you got some special suits over here. You got strainer, steering sticks, and all that thermometer to check the temperature of the of the surfaces trying to reach that 60 right which will never will anyways that's it right yeah you're ready to start ready to roll yeah so since Luke has one year over me of experience he's gonna do the painting <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna let me go first yes okay sweet don't open the garage door no 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 don't worry, it's not gonna catch on fire. We tested that. So primer is it's the whole parts of the hood, parts of the fender. And all of the bumper. You think all of it? I have I have no clue. Put this in the vice. Huh? You think? Nah. Oh, okay, also you I, you I don't feel like vice. holding it, man. Huh? Uh, oh watch Luke spill. I'll let you do it. There you go. I'll watch you spin. Can grab this? <sighs> okay. Funnel. I don't have a funnel for this. All of it? No. How much? How much? Like twenty ounces here. Do you need to mix this or no? Oh, all of it. I just realized we don't have any water to clean this. No. Something's not right. Now we're going to be sanding this. Doesn't even sound. Yeah, sounds some, weird. Sounds sound very. No, no, this is this is stuff is wrong, man. Let's change it again. All right, so that didn't work, but we have a different gun, which I had for a long time, ten years or so, and never used. Less, less, less pressure, do less. So we think the needle is too small for the for this paint or primer in this case. But the guy that a professional, you know, his own store and you know, all paint store. Uh, that the guy that was selling the paint to Lucas said, yeah, use a 1.3 or a 1.4 uh, needle. 
since the cheap guns, uh, I guess you can't get replaceable or, or different needles. I'm, I'm not even sure if it's called a needle, but in the, the tip, right? The tip needs to be 1.3 or 1.4. Um, but clearly not, en not enough paint is going through the gun, you know, to have the, the spray pattern that we want. The paint actually says on the can or in the instructions it says use a tip of 1.8 or up to between 1.8 to 2.0 which is clearly much bigger than you know, 1.3 for example but Luke is determined he's gonna put down the first coat, coat of primer on the bumper at least uh, so we'll see how it comes out let's take a look ran out of primer but uh, it's not looking very good I mean, this is our fault, we didn't do a great job of, you know, bondo and sending it and whatnot, but uh, I don't know if you can see it, but, you know, it's not looking very good. Here, we ran out. So, we do need to sand it, basically, after it dries for a little bit. Look, it's gonna, he actually, there's a little filter right in here right there's a little filter there yeah we'll see what we just took now. it out because it seemed like it was plugging up here let me let, let me close the door hold on I, I gotta go that way hold on don't spray yet okay door locked good all right not the best. Seems better. All right, now we're gonna try this new gun without the little filter inside. And where, where's the filter? Oh, here are the filters in question. Well, just a. Uh, the black, you don't need to spray the whole thing because it's got paint on it, just the black parts. There you go. Here. Oh. It's Max. No, this is just light light coats. Here, here. And the other side. Hold on, let me be this way. So primer, first go. It's late. It's 10.30. We're cleaning the guns. We may have to get another cheap gun tomorrow. Let's see the result. Two coats so far. So I sprayed it. I was holding the gun closer, about six inches from the car. And it is better, it's more smooth. It's 
still has this orange peel look to it, but I guess that's normal. Primer. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, obviously we don't know poop about painting, but look. Well, this ignore this because that's just some stuff well, that fell on it. Here? No, look at this. It's much more smoother oh, than here, for example. Wow. You feel that? Just by holding it closer. So here, because there is paint on you know most of this, we, you don't have to prime it. As long as it's got paint, you need to scuff it up a little bit. Uh, we used 400 or 220. We used 220 to scuff up the paint and just put primer on bando or exposed metal, basically. We found some rust spots, so that's why you have these different random spots. This fender is rusted, by the way. You know, we, we may replace it after some time, I don't know. We'll see. But look, check this out. Look, see how smooth this is? Mm -hmm. After scuffing it. But it's rough here, but we need to, you know, sand it. We're gonna let it dry overnight and pick up tomorrow. So I actually scuffed, scuffed it with a green scuffer. <laughs> Uh, before the second coat and just held the gun closer so yeah I mean check this look this is probably the best part I see crack over right there what, what? you already cracked? well that's that's our bando work or uh, fiberglass Your it's, it's fine it'll, it'll send out it's fine well, so next here? I'm not really sure uh, I turned off that fan oh. and look what happened Right, we do, one is on. Yeah, so now it's we have the sucking situation here now. Yeah, so so you see guys, so this is still working on highest speed. That one there was on, on one this whole time. Yeah, I'll turn it off in a second. But that one was working on, on the lowest speed and it, we did have the, you know, the bubble effect or whatever you want to call that. Now that turned that off, the blowing in one, and now we have the, the sucking effect. Which Lucas likes. <laughs> All right, I guess we're good. So, so. All right, guys. I guess we're gonna pick up tomorrow in part two. Bye. Bye.